Hello friends, welcome again to this channel and we are continuing with our discussion on how to read electrical scheme drawing. In the last couple of sessions, we have already seen how to read the electrical scheme drawing and what are the meaning of different symbols, how the NO and NC contact changeover take place, then the meaning of different symbols, especially the meaning of various ferules. So everything we have covered in last few sessions, last two sessions basically. In this session, I will discuss one more uh, example of electrical scheme drawing reading. Basically, the electrical scheme drawing, you can uh, read uh, uh, very easily if you practice by your own. Uh, I am going to give you one example in this session how to read the electrical scheme drawing for one particular case. But if you want to uh, get better, then you have to practice by your own. You have to do more and more troubleshooting as your substation. Whenever uh, arises any problem, you have to refer to electrical drawing. And once you start referring to the electrical scheme drawing, then you will become more and more comfortable in understanding the concepts. So now in this session, I am going to consider some uh, signals, uh, suppose the input signals in this same uh, 7SA522 or your same uh, main one protection relay. Suppose I am going to consider the PLCC channel signals. So how uh, these PLCC input signals like the carrier receive or the output signal that is carrier send uh, takes place from our relay and how you can verify this through the electrical scheme drawing that I am going to discuss in this particular session. So again, uh, this is the same scheme drawing. So if you see here, uh, this uh, carrier receive and this is again carrier receive both channels, channel 1, channel 2. For this, you have to refer to page number 38 for PLCC channel circuit. And if you see the carrier send, so here is the carrier send. So carrier send is through auxiliary relay, which is on page number 17. And maybe from then page number 17, you have to refer to the respective page for carrier send. First of all, I will discuss about the carrier receive. So the carrier receive, you have to go to page number 38. So this is page number 9. Now I have to go to page number 38. This is page number 38. So in this page, before starting with the discussion, uh, till now you are already aware about the concepts of NONC contacts, NONC contact changeover, the difference between latched and unlatched contacts, the meaning of different types of terminal blocks or TBs like the disconnecting and non-disconnecting types, the various fair rules. Now one more uh, thing which comes in uh, this page if you see uh, inside this uh, large uh, dotted rectangle which is for your main uh, protection panel 712RA, this is your smaller rectangle, this is for PLCC channel circuit. If you see in this large rectangle there is one point which is CSS1, this is basically the carrier selector switch 1 and in this switch if you see there are two positions, one is in and one in out and whenever you see this uh, black uh, square over here, this black square designates that uh, the DC supply will be extended from this point to this point only when this position is at uh, this uh, this switch position is at in position. So if switch is at in position, this will uh, extend the DC supply. If you keep the switch at out position, then in out position there is no uh, rectangle, this uh, black rectangle or a square. So no DC will be extended. This is for better understanding. And now uh, if you see, so this uh, DC supply, this will be extended during the switch in position only. Now I am referring to carrier receive and this carrier receive which is coming from page number 9 as you already know. So this carrier receive. So when you will receive the carrier? You will receive the carrier when the PLCC uh, internal uh, carrier receive uh, command uh, or the carrier receive relay will get activated or will get activated from the uh, receipt of carrier from the remote end. So now this is carrier uh, receive relay of the uh, your PLCC channel. So now if you see here, this is the negative DC supply which is uh, wired permanently to the J5 terminal of this relay. And now the positive, so this uh, input will get high only when it will receive the positive supply also. So the positive supply if you see here, this is the positive supply. If the switch is in the in position, this positive supply will be extended to this position. Now this is wired and this complete bus or loop condition. So now 
when it is uh, this is at this point positive is available so when the uh, plcc receives the carrier from the remote end this contact will be made so now this positive supply through this terminal it will come to j3 terminals and once it receives the positive supply then this negative and this positive so your relay will receive the carrier uh, signals and now uh, this carrier receive will be used uh, in the relay as per the configuration uh, likewise for carrier uh, fail also if you see the carrier fail then again the carrier fail this uh, negative uh, is j5 both negative so this negative is already wired the positive supply how you will receive this is again your positive through this switch this is coming up to this point this if your carrier fails then this contact will change over from no to lc and then this positive dc supply will come to this j6 terminal and the relay will uh, relay input of carrier fail will get activated so in this way you can see the carrier uh, receive or carrier fail now for carrier send so carrier send again you go to page number nine this is your page number nine and the carrier send circuit if you see here this is at page number 17 the terminal number r5 and r4 so go to page number 17 r5 r4 this is page number 17 712 ra panel so don't refer to this because this is for 712 rb panel i have to concentrate on this rectangle only then uh, page number 9 so this is uh, page number 9 this is also for page number 9 but uh, the terminal which we are using is r5 r4 because this if you see here this is your uh, carrier send this is your r5 r4 so page number 17 now it is going r5 r4 so this is the permanent dc positive up to r5 terminal it is available once the relay input uh, the relay output contacts is made and when this contacts will get high this will get high as per your configuration of putt and putt pott scheme whenever the relay detect the fault in zone 1 and zone 2 it will send the carrier and now this contacts will be made so this change from NO to NC, positive DC supply will be extended up to this point, this, um, the negative supply is permanently available to this coil of this relay, and what is this, this is the auxiliary relay, and if you see the description, this is 21.1, that is the main one, X means multiplication, so this is the main one multiplication relay, and in this relay, uh, this coil will be activated, once this coil gets activated, this contacts will change over from NO to NC, and now you have to refer to page number 38 for carrier send. So again, go to page number 38, and the contacts are 2324 for 21.1 XR2. So this is my page number 38, and if you see here, this is 21.1 XR2 from page number 17. So this again, uh, if you see here, this is the permanent negative supply. Uh, sorry, this is 21.1 XR2. This is the uh, positive supply. If switch is in, in position, this positive will be extended to this point, and now this point 21.1 XR2 it will come to this point. And now, once this auxiliary uh, relay picks up, this NO contact will change from NO to NC, and this will extend the positive supply up to this point. The second terminal uh, of this carrier send relay, this is uh, wired to this point, and this, if you refer just stress this is to this permanent negative so once this uh, dc voltage come to this uh, carrier send relay so this carrier send will pick up and the plcc will send the carrier to remote end likewise uh, uh, take one more example of dt send so dt is basically for direct trip and this will be sent for various conditions like over voltage or def protection operation or suppose your uh, bus bar protection uh, operation with uh, one breaker open or your LVB operation. So now uh, consider one case uh, in which you want to send DT when your one of the two breakers that is either main breaker or tie breaker is already in the open condition and you are uh, giving the uh, tripping command or the opening command to the second breaker. That means suppose your tie breaker is open and you are giving the open command to main circuit breaker then you will your uh, relay will send the DT or if main breaker is in the open condition and you are giving the trip command to tie breaker or tie breaker is in open condition you are giving the open command to main breaker so there are two possibilities now consider one case in which uh, main CB is already in the open condition so this is the main CB is, which is in the open condition and I am giving the trip command to tie CB if you refer this point this uh, rectangle this is for 711 rt this is some panel so tie panel and now there are two parallel paths one from bcu so you can give the tripping command through bcu or you can give the tripping command through tnc switch that is trip normal close and again this uh, dotted uh, or the black 
square is so that uh, the positive DC supply will be extended to this point only when you uh, this switch is kept at trip position. So once you give the trip command, this positive DC supply will come to this point up to this point and then if your circuit breaker is in the open condition so these contacts will be nc only when the breaker is in open condition that i have already explained in the first session so this is nc so this positive dc will be extended to this point then it will come to here then here here and finally if you see this dc will come to this point this point and this trip uh, send channel one and the negative is already wired so the negative and the positive will come from this side it will send the dt uh, suppose uh, your uh, breaker is in the closed condition so once this breaker is in closed condition this will becomes no 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 so although you are giving the trip command this is coming up to this point but since these three points are open so this is uh, the breaker is in closed position so your dt is uh, DT cannot be sent. Uh, this is one of the examples. And if you want to troubleshoot why in your scheme support uh, there is incorrect DT sent or DT uh, not being sent, so you can directly check the DC voltage at different points, and you have to check the DC voltage. Uh, with respect to ground that is for positive to ground and negative to ground and then uh, you can check at any point suppose uh, in the normal condition this is the negative at this point so this is the internal plcc coil so that there will be negative at this point so this will be the negative now if you go just one point one point one point over here so you will have the negative up to this point or if you go to through this path so this you can see that this is negative at this point also you can uh, you will have negative at this point and if this breaker is in uh, open condition so in that case you will get the negative up to this point and once this uh, level uh, you get the tipping command then the positive will be extended if this breaker uh, is in uh, closed condition and this will be open so the, you will get negative only up to this point and no voltage at this point so in this way you can do the troubleshooting and you will learn this more and more once you start referring to electrical drawing once you start doing the troubleshooting by your own then you the concept will become more and more easier so i hope whatever concepts are explained in this session is clear and uh, we will keep this session only up to this point in case you have any doubts regarding how to read electrical scheme drawing then you may comment in the comment section so that based upon the feedback uh, received from your side i will try to make uh, one or two more videos if required for understanding the electrical scheme drawing but again one thing that is very important this scheme drawing you will uh, learn more and more by practice more and more by referring to the scheme drawing multiple times by doing more and more troubleshootings this concept will become more and more clear to you so uh, in case you have already subscribed this channel and in case you like this content then you may share this content with your friends so that they also uh, get aware about these things and they may uh, use, utilize these concepts at their uh, locations, at their organizations. In case you are new to this channel and you like the content, then you, then you also uh, uh, subscribe, you may subscribe this channel if you like the content. So, I will keep this session only up to this point and we will meet again with some new topic. Till then, thank you and goodbye.